Hello and welcome everyone and Happy New Year 2016. Today working on the um, January 2016 love scenes forecast for the fixed quality signs of the zodiac which would be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay. And then for fixed signs, you are the second month in the season, and it is your job to maintain that season. Fixed signs concentrate on solidifying ideas. Okay, so put some good ideas to work for 2016, you guys. And um, I wish you all the best. Um, for the cardinal signs, we just dropped a video which um, it seems that Lady Luck is on their side so if any of your sun sign, moon signs or a rising ascendant sign of, um, is from the last video then <laughs> go and check it out but <clears throat> right now we're going to work on the fixed signs okay and um, I'm working today with the uh, ghost spirit tarot to see you know if we can harness some of that spirit out there let's talk to spirit to see what this new year of 2016 can deliver and I also have this deck I don't think I've brought it out before if I have maybe once or twice but this is called the relationship cards and um, it it has you know some some nice little sayings this is what came up the last read the worthiness card and you know know that you're um, nothing that is too good to be true for someone as wonderful as you know that you deserve the very best life gives you everything you need to be happy so so that's they were encouraging um, the table was encouraging for the um, the cardinal signs to know that you know go with the flow of lady luck and see what happens but um and I'm gonna go to the familiar true love tarot to work for this January 25th 16 fixed reading sign okay it's a six card pull so just feel comfortable and let's see what what they have to say for the opening of the new year. Okay, I'm going to just turn around because I know these images, so I don't want to see them, but let's see. Got one. Two. Okay. Oh my goodness, isn't that, this just came through <laughs> for the cardinal signs, this children just came through, so we brought it out again, so obviously had the take home message, I'll have to read it right now, children, create space for children to play in your life, whether you already have children or want children. You are being asked to connect to your innocence and lighten up. Be playful. And that's what it was coming through, um, you know, with, with the channeling was more like playfulness, you know, freedom, peace, freedom, playfulness. And it came out in another reading about, so I guess truly now that this is the second card or second time that I pulled the children's card, uh, we got to now see that they definitely want us to be more playful, to lighten up, to look up, look up, right? Get up, <laughs> look up, lighten up, look up, and don't give up, okay? And be playful, you know, embrace that, that childhood innocence, okay? Okay, that childhood innocence. Okay, well, definitely, um, let's highlight this card because that's, uh, now the second uh, take home 
you know, from spirits saying, want you to be innocent and if you want you know want to have children then you know get in that frame of mind you know it's just a continuous okay so let's see wow okay I had to bring all that up because it just came through so I didn't even finish pulling the cards yet but that's a nice sign to say absolutely uh, you know get outdoors uh, enjoy time with your own children. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know what to do. But definitely be a little more carefree. Okay? Carefree about choices that you're making. Uh, not so rigid. Not so rigid. You know, go with that flow. Uh, but be, of course, uh, you know, adult like decisions you know, need adult like stamps of approval. So, you know, nothing silliness. It's not about being silly or immature. It's just more about, you know, being giddy about life, okay? Laughing at yourself when you can, but not bullying anything, you know. You know what we are saying. We're saying just that not so much is on your mind all the time that causes worries that we did uh, ha see anxiety come for the cardinal sign so uh, hopefully we can re you know release uh, release that anxiety and that oppression and and go forward with playfulness and lighten up okay now we have the four of swords okay all right so this is like a a timeout card, kind of see from the mental anxieties that we were just coming from the cardinal signs, and uh, uh, you know that's interesting because now we're going in the cycle of a new season here, but um, uh, you know summer solstice is tomorrow, or excuse me, excuse me, winter solstice is tomorrow, so. Um, things are happening but yes intriguing intriguing yes okay so uh, we they definitely want you all to you know go start this year this 2016 this new beginning with um, you know relaxing the brain you know you know chilling out however you want to do it in a fun-like way, uh, so your mental thoughts are gaining wisdom, not you, you know, making things up in your head via anxieties or, you know, or, or that, you know, you have pain through heartache, through loved ones, or, you know, they just don't want you to go into any despairs, okay? They want you to liven up now for this 2016, whatever whatever went down on 2015 or what was going on or maybe still they want you to let loose you know laughter lighten up okay now we have the four of pentacles here too okay so we've got the fours and now let's you know bring some um, uh, uh, availability with the numbers in the respect that's about stability okay so you want to like stable your mind, you know, stable your thoughts, okay? Stable the coin, all right? Okay? Everything is to come, just everything in, in, in a proper way, you know, like the pyramids in Egypt, you know, on stable ground, four points that, you know, been there thousands of years, okay? So just, just think about that, that square of stability. Step by step, baby steps, baby steps. That's what we're doing, baby steps, baby steps, but it happens brick by brick, right? Limestone, all that stuff. Eight of wings. Okay, so now we have some mental thoughts on the table here for the fixed signs. And there's indecision for you all, okay? So with the eight of wings, which wings in um this tarot deck are the spades, uh, the swords, again, more mental thoughts, and um, so we've got, you know, a little more here 
where this one is obviously they want you if especially for any of you who are going through some indecisions right now okay coming up for the new year you know am I really planning you know what now what did you do last year at this time you know and call it resolutions for some of you who are accustomed to that or, or you want to have a new you know embrace all your chakra systems embrace a spiritual focus you know for a spiritual outcome what what is your future action plans because we know what's been going down in the past okay and the past just came up on for the cardinal signs too that we got to release it. You release those issues, release the past. The content that was there, you know, is the past. You can't, it's no longer tangible, okay? For, so forget the content, even if it's emotional in your mind, just let's release it. And, and that's why, you know, we can relax with uh, therapy of, you know, taking baths or, or walking out in nature, you know what? We just got to start doing that. That's exactly what we got to do. But if there is indecision, just rest on it. And we've talked about that many times, too, on this channel, that you never make anything you have to sign, especially with contracts or anything. You always sleep on it, okay? You you wait, you wait, and you, you know, refresh your mind and sleep on it. Okay, well, Princess of Shells comes through. It's a little romantic here. So that's um, that's kind of positive here since this is what we're trying to call what love seems forecast, okay? So uh, for the uh, fixed signs, there can be an opportunity here. And we see, uh, looks like a little fairy godmother here holding a wand, and it says acceptance. So let's see what it has to say here. Okay, acceptance. You are a... Let's see, let me put up the romantic card because she's a pretty girl with her seahorses around her. So let me put these up over here, okay? So we can see them together. But all right. So we've got the romantic card. And I'll, I want to read about her because she has a, they write a nice verse about her. But acceptance, you are a beautiful work in progress, always moving forward and always becoming better. Where you are right now is perfectly where you are meant to be, okay? Okay, and you can see she's sitting, the, uh, the princess here, okay, the princess of cups, the water emotion side, okay? She's sitting outside, you see by the water side, well, the shells they have, and you see the seahorse, okay? But again, it just, as you can read, it says, you are beautiful work in progress. Okay, always moving forward and always becoming better. Where you are right now is perfectly where are you meant to be, exclamation mark. So, you know, know that we are now coming into this new be 2016. So take advantage of where you are and knowing that always moving forward. Okay, always moving forward, becoming better. All right, so... Uh, but I would uh, like to read about the romantic uh, princess of shells because she has a little message for us for the Taurus signs here. And for you Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius people, Taurus, you're an earth sign and your uh, season is spring. Leo, you're a fire sign. Your season is summer. Scorpio, the water sign. Season is autumn. And Aquarius, the air sign, your season is winter, which is beginning for you, Aquarius, tomorrow with the winter solstice. Yes. And that's a fabulous time, too. Okay, so the princess. I, I like this deck. I, I really do. <laughs> I like working with it. Here, let me hold up this picture because this one says is a nice a big picture. Okay. The princess of shells upright is drying her hair after a dip in the ocean, symbol of humanity's collective unconscious. A male seahorse, the only species where the male gestates their young, has come to tell her the surprising news he is pregnant. The princess bursts into tears, feeling loving pride and the anticipation of future pain and suffering. 
She confides in her friend that she too longs to find a gentle, child-loving partner with whom to create a family. You will encounter or find yourself acting like a young, sensitive, empathetic woman whose heart rules her head. Being an incurable romantic in love with love and always seeking a romantic encounter will benefit you now. You may feel inexperienced and not ready for the responsibilities that come with a serious relationship, but it is time to try. Communicate tender feelings, hunches, and dreams. Read or write romantic stories or poems. You are pregnant, quote-unquote, you are pregnant with romantic ideas and idealized fantasies and fertile in every way. Be careful if you don't want to have a child, exclamation mark. Psychic intuitions, yours and maybe that of an intuitive counselor, will enable you to navigate uncharted waters. This intuitive ability is always available to you to help you sort relationship problems, yours and your friends. We continuously learn the lessons of love. You may be pleasantly surprised. Okay, we continue to learn the lessons of love, but look, that's, they're also pumping up the intuitive, intuition, psychic intuition. Intuitions, yours and maybe that of an intuitive counselor, will enable you to navigate uncharted waters. This intuitive ability is always available to help you sort out relationship problems, yours and your friends. So, you know, you may be, you may be pleasantly surprised, my friends, if you open up the intuition. Okay, and we had the high priestess come out. A, a double whammy, so that was excellent. She's all about the intuition, so let's put her back in the deck, and I'll turn my head because I know this deck. I know the images. I don't want to just stop at the one, one that I like, but this is all, you know, all a, a nice deck, and all the images are painted by Suzanne Sadon Belay. Yeah, so, okay, this card right here. <gasps> The High Priestess comes out again. Okay, my dears. <clears throat> now, I turned my head on purpose. I swear I did. I swear I did. But obviously, she has a message. Will we read the High Priestess? The Priestess is the direct representative of the Goddess on Earth. She has direct responsibility for functions that ensure fertility and ongoing creation. Priestesses often were responsible for ensuring rain, for the goddess was the giver of dew and of rain. Dew, D-E-W, dew and of rain. They often tended a sacred flame, the embodiment of the creative spark of life. Okay, the high priestess is the great goddess herself, a universal figure found in such diverse guises as Lady Isis in Egypt, Kuan Yin throughout all of Asia, Athena in Greece, and Rhiannon among the Celts. This goddess is all-knowing and all-wise. She creates life out of herself and bestows life-giving waters. At the proper time, she takes life away so that the divine spark in each person may be freed to continue on its journey. Remember, we're talking about peace, freedom, playfulness. Because you got to free, release the past. We're in 2016. The High Priestess is a reminder of the innate wisdom in each of us. She demands that we connect to the divine spark within and manifest it in the world. Okay, well, this is now, you know, she's come out three times now. She demands that we connect to the divine spark within and manifest it in the world. And this is about the Goddess Knowledge Cards by Suzanne Sedombele. Her company, let me see, can you see that? Okay. 
All right, well, no doubt about it. And of course, you know, I, I always do my full moon, new moon readings, and, and I'm for my, especially for the full moon, I'm going to make sure we always relate to one goddess. But of course, Luna and the high priestess are one pretty much. Okay. Well, we'll definitely have to highlight the priestess because no doubt about it, uh, she too now has come out twice. The playfulness card back to back. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a bookie, but what are the odds of that, people? I'm not sure. But let's, you know, thank the uh, <laughs> romantic here, okay, that we just, um, you know, have that fantasy, people, okay? As long as you harm none, fantasy onward and accept yourself, okay? You are, you are perfectly where you are meant to be. Okay. Oh boy, I just still can't believe. And then look what comes with sitting back on top, Artemis, from the last read too. I won't read it again, but she's all about the animals, the huntress. We have to go into the wild. We have to go into a hermit place, like a vision quest via the Native Americans. Go within to find yourself. Because it's all about your intuition now. It truly is. Intuitive knowledge, intuitive spiritual knowledge, okay? Intuitive spiritual knowledge is what it's all about, okay? Oh, my goodness gracious. And, 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 and tap spirit. We got a tap spirit, okay? We got a tap spirit. Okay, my dears. I, uh... I just, I am, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, wow, I, I, I really, you know, both the children card and the high priestess, they really want us to pay attention. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely trying to pay attention. So I hope you all too. Much love to all of you. Okay. My dears really make 2016 your best. Okay. Make it. Rock, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. <laughs> Ciao. Kisses. Lots of love.